Green, welcome job with India Today. I'm Ankit Tyagi. Uttarakhand political developments are top focus. Let's quickly take you through what happened after the Nainital High Court set aside the president rule. In fact, it's a big relief for Harish Rawat as the Nainital High Court has set aside the president rule in the state and lashed out at the Modi government for trying to make a backdoor entry into the state government. Uh, a red face BJP has called its Uttarakhand MLAs to Dehradun. Harish Rawat is uh, reaching Raj Bhavan to meet the governor. It's the biggest loss of face for the Modi Sarkar with the Nainital High Court scrapping president's rule in the state of Uttarakhand. It was a harsh lashing for the Modi government as the court observed that Article 356 was imposed in the state contrary to the law when it should be a matter of last resort. The court added that the nine dissident Congress MLAs would have to pay the price of committing a constitutional sin of defecting by being disqualified. What's interesting is that the centre brought trouble for itself in the court. When the judge asked the ASG whether he's willing to give an assurance that for one week the president rule will not be revoked before the judgment is given, the ASG denied. The judges took a five-minute break and then they cancelled the president's order. Yeah, I felt after reading the arguments uh, that the, our Attorney General and Solicitor General did not uh, present the arguments forcefully. Uh, I think that both of them should be either sacked or, or have been asked to resign. Harish Rawat, who was removed as Chief Minister, has passed the judicial test and hopes to sail through the floor test in the state on the 29th of April. This even as the BJP proclaims that Rawat enjoys no majority in the Assembly. I am confident that the numbers are now in the same way. We have a big fight. कोई आश्चर्य नहीं क्योंकि तीन दिन से जिस प्रकार बेंच से टिप्पणियां हो रही थी उससे लग रहा था कि निर्णय अपेक्षित है पर इस बात के लिए एक प्रश्नवाचक चिन्ह जरूर है हमारे दिमाग में कि एक ऐसे मुख्यमंत्री जो कि स्टिंग ऑपरेशन में सीधे सीधे दिखाई दिए सारे देश ने देखा उनको हाईकोर्ट ने रिलीफ दी है well, we believe that the central government has acted illegally, but the ultimate verdict is of the court, which everybody respects, and we must look for that, wait for that, and respect that. It's a major dent for the BJP in an election year. Embarrassed by the major setback, the centre is planning to challenge this verdict in the Supreme Court. With Brijesh Pandey, Nainital, in Dehradun, Ashar Khan for India Today. Okay, so what can happen on 29th? Now, 29th April is the time when Harish Rawat would be taking that majority test on the floor of Uttarakhand Assembly. What are the scenarios? Number one, this is what Congress would be expecting. Total strength is 71. Congress is expecting that the nine rebel MLAs will be disqualified. The total strength of the House will come down to 62. In that case, 31 would be the majority. Congress, BSP and others total as of now is 33. That's the best case scenario as far as the Congress party is concerned. They are hoping nine rebel MLAs would be put out of the way and they would be able to sustain that government. What if the nine rebel MLAs are not disqualified? Then what happens? 71 is the total strength. Majority needed would be 36. Congress would have 33. BJP along with the Congress rebels will go on to 37. So that would be the second scenario in which case the Harish Rawat government would fail to prove its majority and then we'll have to wait and see whether elections are called immediately or President will once again is set uh, as far as Uttarakhand is concerned. But these are the two scenarios that are going to play out on 29th of April. The big implications of this verdict, uh, this is the biggest humiliation for the union government, for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It was, remember, uh, a late night cabinet meeting that decided after that sting alleged, uh, operation alleged Harish Rawat trying to buy out uh, other Congress uh, uh, you know, and BJP MLAs that the government imposed a president's rule and the president's rule has been revoked by the Nanital High Court uh, Center. The Congress was trying it for a very long time. They have after Arunachal Pradesh, after this they are successfully now going to go to the world and paint the central government under BJP as anti-democratic. Personal damage would also be a problem that uh, Narendra Modi would be facing in this poll year. State elections are already on in five states and there are other big elections that are 
going to come through in next. Loss of face in high stakes battle. West Bengal, Assam, all these uh, states are, uh, Assam in fact has already voted, West Bengal still voting, Kerala, other states are coming through. So where are the BJP and the Congress standing on this uh, very important Nanital High Court uh, decision? Taking you through with our guest from BJP and Congress, Rahul Kamal, manager at Trainer today. Is the verdict of the Uttarakhand High Court not a massive embarrassment for the Modi government that believed that they'd done the right thing now, President's rule being set aside by the Nainital High Court? Joining us on the newsroom showdown tonight, Nalin Kohli, national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janta Party, also with us, Jaiveer Shergill representing the Congress. Nalin Kohli, to you first. Given the strident position the BJP had taken at the highest levels, justifying President's rule, would you be candid enough to accept and admit that the order from the Uttarakhand High Court has come as a huge embarrassment for the BJP government at the centre? Well, of course, uh, the order has come. And certainly we find that there are things in the order that surprise us. Now, whether there is to be a legal challenge or not, that is an issue that the government will take. Perhaps it's being considered. But the order is not out in terms of, you know, in our being in our hands. But no order achieves, fi uh, you know, is final till it achieves finality. I mean, if there is a challenge to it, then that matter continues. But we are, I would say that, you know, I've been involved in that litigation there. I'm surprised by a few facts that at the end of the day, let's go one by one. And I'll bring three points specifically. In the petition of Mr. Harish Rawat in Para 16, he clearly says no one asked for a vote on the appropriation bill. And Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, while arguing and closing his arguments, specifically accepted that 27 BJP MLAs asked for voting. Now, that means the facts were not presented. That's clearly mean that you are going against your own petition. That could have been a ground for dismissal. Shall I take it to another level? That a speaker is acting in a partisan manner. If by TV reports what I get that the judgment has said, because the judgment is not yet in anyone's hand, that it was clearly said that this was a, the voting was not done under uh, Rule 296 and the Speaker's uh, ruling on that is final. So question arises, if 40 people in a 70-member House, year 35 had asked, said they want to vote, the Speaker in a partisan manner says, I will not you allow it to vote. You can make these points, Nalin, in a vote. court of law. Right. You can challenge this the in point. a Supreme Court. The so reality is, say, the Uttarakhand High Court in the order that was passed today has termed this completely unacceptable right. has and set to aside that president's in a sentence, rule and therefore is, does the Congress, Jaiveer Shergill, I'm coming back to you, you Nalin, you in just a moment, Jaiveer Shergill, is there a sense the of minutes. vindication in the Congress party that the courts have stepped in? They didn't do this in the case of Arunachal Pradesh where the verdict is still pending, but at least the Uttarakhand High Court coming out and speaking in a very harsh fashion against the BJP government. Uh, Rahul Satyamev Jayate yato dharma tato jaya truth will prevail and truth alone i shall uphold where is there is dharma there is victory and this is inscri inscribed in the supreme court logo itself today the high court verdict is a stamp on the fact that the bharatiya janata party failed to uphold its dharma of protecting the constitution of this country from the what less was expected from day one, the Congress party and the people of this nation knew that the Bharatiya Janata Party has crossed the legal Lakshman Rekha as far as imposing the president rule is concerned. I would rather say the Prime Minister of this country and Shri Arun Jaitley must apologize for making this attempt to blatantly murder democracy in broad daylight. You know, uh, this is uh, something curious was happening. Since the Bharatiya Janata Party came into power, president rule had become a casual affair. The last resort in the constitution had became the first attempt. So the High Court took uh, cognizance of that fact. And let me remind my friend Nalin Ko, uh, Shri Nalin Kohli what was the observation today. They said removing democratically elected governments breeds cynicism within the citizens of this country. These were the wordings. And look, why shouldn't the High Court act? Three unique things happened for the first time in the history of this country. An order is passed overturning the Speaker's decision of the floor test. You asked, your uh, channel is showing what, was, what will happen on the 29th. BJP was always... Uh, uh, what, allergic to a floor test because they knew they cannot come to power through democratically elected way. Second, Shri Arun Jaitley bypasses the governor of the a state under Article 356. Governor never recommends failure of state machinery. Till date, the governor report is not made public, but he blogs about it. President rule is uh, about. I think the Bharatiya Janata Party should take a clue. Is, and is there a lesson the in this, Nalin Kohli, for the BJP? The you did this in Arunachal Pradesh. I had 
Kailash Vijayvargia telling me, just hear my question, that more Congress governments will fall, more MLAs are in touch with us. He told me on record what happened in Uttarakhand and uh, Arunachal will happen elsewhere too. Is the verdict of the Uttarakhand High Court a lesson for the BJP? So first, I'll answer to what my colleague at the bar, Mr. Shergill, said. And I certainly hope that Mr. Shergill is a man who sticks to his words and the principles that he espouses are the ones he will follow. So for an apology that he asks, I presume he's extending it to Pandit Nehru, Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi and every Congress Prime Minister who out of the 125 times that 356 was imposed, 100 times the Congress party had imposed it and in the Ebamai case and in the Rameshwar Prasad case, each one castigating remarks were made for it being imposed by Congress governments including Dr. Manmohan Singh. So I think you are setting standards and we could begin with that apology series that you are calling for by all the posthumous and apologies and thereafter. No, no. That we'll doesn't hold because answer. there was a period in India's standards. history, whether I'm it is Indira Gandhi's time or Rajiv Gandhi's time, when imposition of president's rule was a common occurrence. Over that's the last I'm, few years, that had ceased to be the case. In the so last few years, one. that had ceased Dude, to be the case. You brought president's rule back into fashion. Now that goes the against the BJP for doing so. We stick to what we have said. On the 18th, a constitutional crisis was brought in in Uttarakhand where an appropriation bill which had failed has been shown as passed. If the court has made a, uh, observations, I would also like to say this as an advocate. Some of those observations, I wonder whether they should be made like against the President of India. Article 361 is very specific. The President is not answerable to any court of law. And the President is the highest authority of this land. There has to be institutional respect a court decisions are there from the 1950s that say observations should not speak by the judges, judgments should speak. So therefore it's critical to not look at only observations and celebrate. I think the larger institutional mechanism and the fact that there was a constitutional crisis, the gov state uh, government where it was brought in by them, a sitting chief minister on television purchasing and relief being granted to him. These are very, very uh, serious questions. They are not to be trivialized just by observations alone. But that is... Indeed, Jaivir Shirgil, something the Congress needs to respond to because there haven't been too many instances when a chief minister it's the has only been one. stung it's the only on one. camera, negotiating, asking for money. There's been talk about these things happening, but it hasn't ever been shown on camera. A chief minister caught by a former colleague of his asking for money to bring him back on board. Harish Rawat has that going against him. Rahul, uh, before I answer you specifically, just one small comment. Without confusing the viewers of your show between a, a legal jar, uh, words of mine and Mr. Kohli, one thing is there. Today, High Court verdict is a victory of people's power over BJP's money and muscle power, democracy over dictatorship, that fact is true. Number two, now come to the sting operation. Come to the sting operation. Please, Article 356 operates in a certain area. Please, I'll argue on a dimmer. Mr. Harish Rawat is guilty. Assume that. Appropriation bill. Who will decide that? SR Bumai Para 119 says floor is the only constitutionally ordained forum where this will be proved. A sting operation, there are many other provisions in law which you could have taken action. Speaker is the master of the house. Bringing down, toppling a democratically elected government was not the answer. And I asked Mr. Kohli since he was in the court. The single bench, Divinian bench, got tired of them asking one simple question. What was the tearing hurry for you to impose president's rule overnight? Until date, that answer has that come. That question, indeed, so, so, the BJP the hasn't given a sufficient and adequate answer to Nalin Kohli because yes, elections are only nine months away. Of if course. you thought you were on a solid footing, surely you could have won because you can answer this any which way you yeah. want in a court of law. In the people's court, the perception will be ki kuch to garbar hai. Itti jaldi kya hai? Why not wait till an election if you're confident you'll win? Bas, beat Bas, Harish Bas, Rawat, hai, beat, beat the Congress and then come to power through the democratic route. I thank uh, Mr. Shergill for a classic self-goal by talking about money power when Today you're chief thanking minister. me up. Let <laughs> me finish, let me finish, Jayavi. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that you're talking of money power and your own chief minister is negotiating crores of rupees for support. And you say the BJP is responsible for it. Next time you're going to say that Harish Rawat was an agent of the BJP in the Congress. I think there's a limit to, you know, uh, just coming up with rhetoric and seeing the facts. With regard to the question, the BJP is a political party. The government of India is the government of India, which takes the oath to protect and preserve the constitution. And if there is a constitutional crisis, the government of India has to step in with whatever are those options available okay. under the constitution. So I've got, 356 is one of them. I've got However, two minutes at the to same go. Time, 
However, the same, just a sentence more, the same issue remains. I'm raising a question that has to be answered. If a speaker decides to throw all the rules to the wind and decides to propagate a minority government just because he says my power is supreme, that is something we have to wonder whether in democracy it's something that... But there correct. again, the previous Supreme Court judgment, Nalin well, Kohli made very thing. clear you know, I think that the only way to figure Bombay. that out is yes, inside are, the assembly, on the floor you. of the house. That's the let only way you. it can be determined yes, whether right. or not aware of that. what the speaker thing. is saying is right or wrong, whether or I not the government something. is in a majority or a minority. Very quickly to both my guests, final words. What will happen when the floor test actually takes place. It should have happened many weeks ago. Jaivir Shirgil, you've got nine MLAs who openly defected. I'm told Harish Rawat was working very hard trying to bring some of them back. Some of those efforts we saw in that sting operation as well. We're told that some of the independents also he's been able to bring back. Is the Congress confident that when the floor test happens, you will win? Or will Nalin Kohli be smiling that day because the BJP will be able to form a government? Final words, Jaivir Shirgil. Well, if uh, well, BJP always knew they cannot form the government. That's why they formed the president's rule. They were allergic to floor test. Congress will form the government with flying colors. And we were never averse to this floor test. And we thank the High Court of this country, High Court of Uttarakhand, who has given us this opportunity. And we will uphold the mandate of the people. Nalin Kohli, what will happen if Harish Rawat goes out as the BJP was fearing and actually proves his majority on the floor of the house, where will that then leave the BJP or will we now see in the next few days a lot of backdoor manoeuvring to try and wean some of these Congress MLAs away, win some of the independents back and once again the whole business of purchasing MLAs coming into play? Well, the only example of purchasing is by the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand on camera. So I think that question of purchasing really is on the Congress, which is speaking of coming out with flying colours. Second, as you keep quoting the Bombay judgment, let's not forget whether it's Bombay or uh, the case of Rameshwar, they were cases of dissolution of the house. Irreversible action. Whereas this is a case of suspended animation, sometime or the other a flow test would have taken place. So the will you wait for a flow maneuver. test first or will you challenge this in the Supreme Court before that? I don't know. I don't know. Because that is a decision that has to be seen by the union government. It may challenge it, it may not challenge it. I can't answer that without knowing the correct position. Okay, we don't know what will happen in the floor of the house on the 29th. We also don't know what may happen if this verdict is challenged in the Supreme Court. But what we do know is that the verdict of the Uttarakhand High Court has come as a big embarrassment for the BJP government. It's a stern message from the judiciary. Don't mess with elected governments. If you think you can win, do it through the democratic route, not by using central powers. That is not acceptable. It goes against the idea of a healthy democracy and messers. Amit Shah and Narendra Modi should stay away from letting their party do these things. I'm going to leave it over there. Nalin Kohli, Jaivir Shergil for joining us on the newsroom tonight. Thank you very much. All right, we're getting news that after getting DNA samples or rather giving the DNA samples of the four Pakistani terrorists killed in the Pathan court air base attack, India is now contemplating disposing of the dead bodies lying. There's the hair. But then I decided to use the public transport. And now I feel I look like Natha. But don't you worry, the show looks fantastic.